So if a projector circuit has a current of 12 amps and a voltage difference of 3 volts. So voltage difference, just so we're clear, that means that, so from a battery, um, that the difference between the positive and the negative is 3 volts. And that's actually the, the speed or, or how, how much those electrons want to get to the other side of the battery. If you have a 9 volt battery, it's more powerful than a 3 volt battery. Double A batteries are 1.5 volts. Those are not very powerful batteries. Um, the larger the battery usually, the higher the voltage, and that basically is how much those electrons want to get from one side of the battery to the other side. Um, all right, so let's, let's plug it in. So our current is 12 amps, okay? Resistance, so a voltage difference. I don't know the resistance, but I do know the voltage difference is three volts. Okay, then I plug it in over here, so my three volts. And then my current was 12 amps. Okay. Resistance, not sure yet. Let's plug them in. So V equals IR. My voltage was 3 volts equals. Um, and I'm not going to put these um, units in here. It's not going to be important to us right now. So 3 equals and my 12 and then R. Okay, solve for answer. Obviously, this is a little <clears throat> a little bit different than the ones where we're just solving for V. So I'll rewrite this. So 3 equals 12R. If I'm trying to get R, what do I have to do? Divide by what? So I have to divide by 12. That's, that's on the other side. That's on the side that R is. And I have to get R by itself. I want to isolate that variable. So I'm going to divide both sides by 12. Divide it by 12. Okay, obviously this is long division, so we have to solve this out. So... 12 going into 3. Can 12 fit in 3? Absolutely not. So I'm going to put a decimal point there and a 0 after it. <coughs> 12 can go into 32 times. That's going to give me 24. 2 times 12 is 24. Okay? And then I'll get 6 left over. I always want you to solve problems to 2 decimal points. When you get to the CST or any other tests, they will give you things to 2 decimal points. Um, so... Let's, let's bring another zero up here and drop it down. So now I have 60. How many times does 12 go to 60? Five. Yeah, five times. This is, this is one of those things that you should memorize. Um, five times, five times 10 will give me 50, and five times two will give me 10, so I'll have 60. So that'll be 60, okay? 0.25 is what's left over. Cancel these out. So instead of 3 over 12, I've got 0.25 equals the only thing left over there. So R equals 0 0.25. And what are my units? I was looking for resistance, so what am I going to use there? Ohms. Ohm. Alright. And I'll use the, um, the omega symbol for that instead of writing out ohms.